so professional. Hi there, NS Coding here, and in this video we will talk about the very beginning of iOS application. If people may argue on how this world was started, Toasty! iOS application has no entry point. We are working with Swift here, but it will be very useful to start with Objective-C and get first impressions how it works there. You will see why. So, Objective-C is a superset of C programming language. Basically, it means that it is pure C plus some other things that makes it object-oriented. This is so-called runtime library, and it is open source. You can browse through its code, link in the description. Anyway, objective or not, it is C in fact. So every C program has entry point and it is main function. It is true for iOS app as well. If you will scroll down here and open this supporting files folder, you will see this main.m file and main function in it. If you are familiar with Objective-C, good for you. For others, very quick explanation. These two arguments is common line arguments for current process. And this outer list pool called outer list pool block is related to memory management in Objective-C. Every thread must have one, and this is where outer list pool block is created for main thread. And here you see UI application main function. First two arguments is this command line arguments, but we are more interested in the last two. This nil is actually a class that will be used as a main class of your application. If you will pass nil, UI application class will be used. That's what you are doing 99% of the time, but if you need to change behavior of UI application class, you will subclass, so this is the place where you need to tell which class you are going to use instead of UI application. Next argument is AppDelegate class. One thing to remember, iOS program actually never quits from this UI application main function. It stays there as long as app is launched. So now let's go to Swift. As Apple says, Swift is Objective-C but without C. Yes, you won't find main function or main.swift file here. If you will look into Apple Docs, it is said that code written in global scope is used as entry point for a Swift app. It is works for Playground actually, but won't work for your iOS application. You can guess that entry point of Swift iOS app is here in this UI application main. If you will remove this, it simply won't compile and from error you will see that Xcode will complain that there is no main. <laughs> so let's try to give it what it wants. First let's have a look into documentation. And there we will find out that UI application main function exists in Swift and takes the same amount of parameters as in Objective-C. According to docs, let's create main.swift file and try to re-implement what we saw in Objective-C. The only question that is left is where this command line arguments. They are wrapped in a num called process and can be accessed just like that. Now all we need to do is provide main class for application and delegate. Now if you will build and run this, it will work. As you can see, some knowledge of Objective-C won't hurt your brain. It is actually useful sometimes. Stay safe. And how did aliens create everything? <laughs> Take the fun with things that he got to be happy.